TV presenter Johnny Irwin has ranted that his day is screwed as he hit out a train company. The former a place in the Sun Star took to Instagram to vent his frustrations about not being able to get about thanks to rail cancellations. And just like that my day is screwed, he told his 228,000 followers. You can't change your ticket but it's okay to just cancel a train right? And the government wonders why people prefer to drive. Sick. The relatable complaint was met with many similar ones in the comment section. One fan wrote under the post, which showed a screenshot of the cancelled train. Dreadful. And they want pay rises. Absolutely agree, it happened to us in Manchester last week, infuriating. Hope you get to where you're going x, wrote another. While a third commented, this country is so far behind Europe when it comes to trains, trams infrastructure it's embarrassing. Johnny's post had shortly followed his admission that he had been left, whacked today after attending a streets gig post his latest cancer treatment. The 49-year-old has been sharing frequent updates on social media since announcing he had been diagnosed with terminal cancer in 2022. On Friday he attended the Streets concert at the O2 City Hall in Newcastle, where he lives with his family and told fans he was so glad he'd gone, despite being whacked today. What a night, he said, alongside a string of snaps of the outing. Prob should be resting after radiotherapy to my Swede the day before but F it right. More about that later. Sick. Become an Express Premium member support fearless journalism read the Daily Express online. Advert free get super fast page loading start 30 day free trial the presenter revealed last year that doctors told him he had just months to live after his cancer spread. With the help of his family, he has vowed to keep doing everything he can to hold that day off for as long as possible. The property expert has three young sons, Rex, four, and twins Rafa and Cormac, three, with his wife Jessica Holmes. He found fame presenting a place in the sun and escaped to the country and most recently did some filming for BBC Morning Live. For the show, he fronted a segment about renovating a home and what to look out for. Ahead of this, he returned to escape to the country and was left thrilled by the viewing figures from the episode. 